Welcome back to Flutter by Nessa. We are moving on to round four of my lipstick declutter. We've got Lorac products here, Urban Decay here, Wish makeup. This is like Scentsy and Unique and then a couple of Laura Geller. These are e.l.f. products along with what's in this box here. This is some Love of Color and then a couple of Benefit products. And then you've got Sephora and Ulta Store brand stuff. And then these are more high-end brand products. And I'll try to go through each one as quickly as possible. All right, so starting off with Lorac. I don't often do, I'm not a huge gloss person, I guess is what I want to say. This is in the color Ben. I got this off of Hot Look and I have this in my project pan for this year. I'm not doing great on using it, but I do really like the color with the pink and the silver mixed in. I wasn't going to swatch, but I do really love how that looks. So that one's beautiful. So I'm keeping that. These aren't, this formula for the Lorac Ultra Ego stuff is not my favorite formula, but it stays put pretty well. And it, I find that I just have to let it warm up on my skin. I've got Duchess and Girl Next Door and CEO. So this one's, this is kind of, they're all nude colors, but this one's got a little bit more of the purpley. This one. The girl next door is a little bit more pink, well, a lot more pink, and the CEO is deeper. So I do really like all of them. They're pretty drying, so I generally do end up wearing a chapstick or a gloss over the top, sorry for the out of focus, but I do like those ones. They make me happy, so I'm going to keep them. This is Alter Ego Gloss in Secret Agent. It goes well with the... What was that first one that I said? Duchess, I feel, goes really well. This one is Goddess, and it's purpley, so I like that. They're nice. They're really shiny, they're high shine, so they don't stay put. They, they're pretty slippy, but they, they don't bleed, but they also don't last very long, but I like them for what they are. This is in the color Nick, and it has a little bit more gold and purple. Let's see. It's a pretty. It's pretty, but I'm ready to move on from that one. That one I'm going to go ahead and declutter. This one, a lip luster gloss, and I've tried wearing this one several times, but this is one that you can feel. First of all, I hate that little tiny nub of a brush, and you can feel all the grit from the sparkle in this. Sorry if my lighting is crazy, it's natural lighting and we have a cloud apparently. But I don't like that one. When I wear it, it doesn't feel good so I'm gonna get rid of that. These are newer to my collection and I need to get some use out of them. Oh, sorry. I bumped the camera, but I love the blue. Like I said, I like fun colors and I really liked everything about this collection, the Pirates of the Caribbean. I got the eye palette and cheek palette for this, and I really like that, so I'm keeping those. Here is, that one was Ahoy Matey. Ooh, sorry, Ahoy Matey, and this one is Sparrow. I love the color of that gloss. It's kind of an iridescent purpley blue shift with that taupe purple color that I just, can't get enough of and the color the base color is also a really nice kind of taupey brown with a little hint of purple in there not when you look at it like that you can't see any purple but when you swatch it I don't know if you can see that like I can but it's beautiful and I am happy with that so I'm keeping that so just getting rid of the one Lorac product let's I'm getting rid of these <laughs> from Wish this is an easy one the Wow they're supposed to be long-lasting lip color, and honestly, they make me nervous because I bought it off Wish, so I don't know what the ingredients really are. I don't know if they're legit, and I tried them, and they don't leave much color. There's not much variation, and I don't want to spend more time on them, so I'm going to pass those along. Let's see. These ones, I'm going to do what's 
quick and easy for me because I've got to be fast so I got to do what I can make up my mind about I'm just gonna let all of these go I honestly I just never reach for them they're the love of color I got these when it was in the collection with Tati in the birch box and I was super excited to have them but I just I don't wear them this one came in a different birch box and I, I just don't wear them they're nice and they stay for a long time and everything but I don't use them so I'm gonna let them go same thing with the They're Real Double double the Lip. This one just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't work. I don't know. I've never seen anybody who has been able to make it work. It's supposed to help you make an ombre lip, and I, I can't do it. I don't know. The shape is funny, and being that you have a top lip and a bottom lip, and you have to turn it around for each one, the application gets weird, and I don't want to keep it. I want to keep this because I think it's nice and it's got a good bit of, little bit of color to it, but I don't honestly wear it. Actually, it doesn't have that much color to it. I don't ever wear it, so my daughter might like that. And the Benna tint, I don't generally do the tint. It would scare me to use this on my cheeks. My lips aren't smooth enough for me to get good use out of this because it doesn't go on evenly with chapped lips, so that's gone. I do like all of my unique lip glosses, although this pink one looks like it has passed its prime. Can you see all the separation in there? I don't think I want to continue to use that. It was pretty, and these feel great on the lips, I'm not going to lie. I love the way these feel. They feel like a warm hug is all I can think to say. They feel so comfortable and cozy, and I love the way they feel, but this one is separating and the colors are going funny so I'm gonna be done with that this one is Lux it comes with a little mirror on the side which is handy and I like that one it's a beautiful nude color right there so I'm gonna keep that one and then this one is called livid and it's like a gold bronzy sort of a thing honestly I don't think I need that one I'm going to keep just the Lux one and let go of Livid and what was the other one? Lovable. So Livid and Lovable can go. I'm done with those. Again, these ones are lip stains from Unique. I sold Unique for a little while. I think these are two different colors. I don't know. I couldn't, again, my lips just aren't smooth enough or uh, moisturized enough generally day to day for me to make good use of this. I can't get a color that I like, but I sold Unique for a little while and I just couldn't keep up with it. They don't have samples that you can try, especially as a representative, and so it just cost too much to keep up with it and I couldn't recommend things that I hadn't tried, so I stopped with Unique. But they have some good products, I just couldn't keep up. So the Lori Geller lipsticks, I really do like this one. I just don't use that color though, I tell you what. I just don't use the pencil, that's the thing. I don't I don't use it. Love Me Do, super cute. Someone else should get some use out of that. I don't use it, I'm not going to. This is the color Pink Mink, and it's a nice nude color, but I just don't reach for it. I don't know, I don't have a lot of, hmm. I kind of want to keep one Laura Geller product. This is Color Drenched Lip Gloss in Ginger. It's actually a really sparkly color, but I, I don't remember ever liking it. It seems like it has a bit of a gold sheen, but I, I don't like this. I don't remember what it was about it, but I just don't ever reach for it. So I'm going to let this one go. I'll keep the lipstick, maybe. I don't know. I'll keep the lipstick for a little while. Maybe I'll declare that later. These are lip scents. My sister sells this, and I just, I lost my, this is the Oops Remover. And what you do is you apply three thin layers, up to three thin layers of the color that you want, and then you put a gloss over it, and then you have the oops remover stuff for it. But I lost my gloss, so I just don't wear them. But I have, it's my Milani lip oil that works actually just as well. So I just need to get that out and put the three of them, the four of them, I guess, together and get some use out of that. So I'm going to hold on to these. Uh, all of these... Elf products. I ordered, I had an order from Elf and they sent me someone else's order and so I let them know and they said, oh, we'll go ahead and keep what we sent. 
which is all well and good, but I don't like this style of lip product, especially with the, the brush. Oh, and I don't even like the sponge one either. And I, I don't need more of these colors, so I'm gonna let go of those. Let's see, I'm gonna do Urban Decay last because I like all of them, basically. I don't like the Chubby Stick, so I'm gonna let go of that. I don't need the red, the Sephora. I don't think I've even tried it. I think this was, oh, uh, I did swatch it at least. But this was another one that I think came in, Sephora Rouge, the red, came in the Instagram one that I won and it looks nice but I don't wear red a lot and I have a red that I'm happy with and excited about. This one is also Sephora and it is Sephora Rouge Shine in 37. I don't know but I do like, whoa, it's super creamy. Wow, that was like disconcertingly creamy. Um, but I like that color. It's my purple color that I like. I might have to go through and weed we through those a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to get rid of this one because it's a matte. It came in like a gift with purchase type thing, and it looks like a pretty color, but it's not been opened and someone else can enjoy that. I do like my lip primer, except that it fell apart, so that's kind of a bummer. I think I will be done with that since that's the case. And... This is a tinted lip balm with sugar crystals. I'm guessing it's kind of to help, well, it doesn't feel like it exfoliates. It just feels like a lip balm. I'm gonna let it go. It seems like maybe it's old. And then this one, like I said, another red. And this is a gloss stain. I'll let somebody else enjoy that. It hasn't been opened yet, so I'm gonna pass that along. Oh, I think we were on e.l.f. before and I skipped over, but that's okay. So we're back to e.l.f. This is natural, the color natural. Like I said, this one in particular just is a funny color on me. I don't like what it does. I think maybe it's just the wrong nude for me. I've never put it on and felt satisfied with what happened. So I'm gonna let that go. I don't use this. I don't like the applicator. The gloss is beautiful and I did enjoy it for a while, but I am over that. So I'm gonna move that along. Again, Baby Lips, I loved this color, and the applicator, while not my favorite, wasn't horrible. It's better than the little brush thing, but I just don't do much gloss, and I don't prefer that method, so I'm going to move that along. This one, it's kind of a funny color. I don't know if it came with the mistaken order. I think it did. Barely Bitten? I might have ordered it. I'm not sure. Mm, that is pretty. I'm going to try it. I'll keep it, test it out, see how I like it. And then this one, Razzle Dazzle Red, for sure was like an extra. I did not choose that. I don't want to keep that. It's just not for me. I don't like the way that it's swatched, the feeling of it. It's too dry, and I'm not a fan of that color. So that one's gone. This one for sure was in that mistaken order. And again, just not quite right for me. So, I'm gonna let that one go. I love this, it's just the lip color remover. Okay, so moving on to this last section before we do the Urban Decay stuff. I got this, it was a, a perk of some kind on Ulta. It was, it's a palette that you can't get or couldn't get otherwise, six necessary nudes. I'm not really good with lip palettes, I've found, so I want to, I like the colors, and I want to mix and match. I haven't tried that one, I guess, is the only one. Everything else I've kind of dipped into, but I'm trying to figure out how to use a lip palette, so I'm going to hold on to that. I just got this NARS, sorry for the unfocus. It's called Walk This Way, and it's a liquid lipstick. I think it's a matte. This one is so liquidy though. It took me by surprise when I swatched it. Do you see how it spreads like that? I think it's a really pretty color. And like I said, I just got it, so I'm keeping this one. This was a points perk, I think, from Sephora. And it came with the, the gloss, maybe? Or maybe I bought that separately with the, the little highlighter. But this one is in Griselda. My husband wanted to name our daughter. If we had another daughter, he wanted to name her Griselda. And look at the FB, because Fenty Beauty, sorry. 
Anyway, I wanted, uh, ooh, that is pretty. I'm excited about that. I would have been fine with Giselle because the point was to have, I'm keeping that by the way, the point was to have a name that you could shorten to Zelda because we like, we like The Legend of Zelda. This is the only Marc Jacobs lip, lipstick I have. It's in Slow Burn. It came in a sample pack from like Sephora Favorites or whatever, and it's beautiful, so I'm keeping that. I don't think I've ever tried the OCC Lip Tar. I think I'm just going to move it along, because I just, I'm not a fan of the little tube thing like that. I heard that they are not doing well. They're in dispute with Sephora about fixtures that they had to pay for. Anyway, it's unfortunate, but I just never really got into them. The Bite Beauty, I believe it's this one, and Chai that I just got for the birthday gift from Sephora. It's that purpley color I love, so I'm keeping these, of course. This is in Glacé and Chai. Chai looks like this. It's a little bit deeper color. Really pretty. A little bit more brown than that other one. Than the Marc Jacobs one, I should say. I love this gloss, this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. It's in Fenty Glow. And it just has a beautiful sparkle to it. That dofa is no joke. Holy cow, do you see the size of that thing? Anyway, it's a beautiful sparkle to it, and but it's not gritty. And I love it, and I'm keeping it. I don't like the pencil again. I just don't reach for it. I don't find that it's moisturizing enough. Even though it says moisturizing lip color balm, I just... It's a no. No, thank you. I do like the Pure Exfolips. It's a lip exfoliator, and I know Lauren May recently talked about it, and she did not like it. It came in the boxy charm, which I also got, but I don't mind it. I like it. I think it feels good, so I'm keeping mine. I love my lipstick queen lipsticks. This one is Morning Sunshine. It's yellow, but it turns pink. You can kind of see the color it turns on top of it right there. This one should actually change. Yeah, you can see that one right away. I love that color. Definitely keeping that. And then this one is in Mauve Sinner. And again, it's that color that I like. Kind of a purpley taupe. Keeping that. I just got this as a bonus for an order that I got. I don't remember what it was with, but and it was unrelated. I don't... Oh no, I did get a Clinique thing. It's... A berry red but I just got it and I'm gonna hold on to it because it's kind of a summery red so I'm gonna hold on to that I got this from my friend she had received a makeup bonus and there is a palette and everything that went with it and it's a little bit more purple than what the taupey ones I usually like are but it's purple so and it's super cute packaging so I'm gonna keep that too that color is matte plum so I am going to keep that one as well. I do like my NARS Satin Lip Pencil. I don't generally like pencils, like I've said, but this one, I don't mind. I make it work. The last Bite Beauty product that I have, it's a dual-ended. This site is, well, honestly, I'm not sure, but there's Date and Fig. Date, I think, is a little bit more brown. And... Fig is a little bit more pink, and I do really enjoy those. So I'm keeping that. I have MAC. This was one that came in. This is Cream Sheen and Speed Dial. This is one from that Instagram. Uh, Instagram, the one that I won. <sighs> uh, my brain. I'm trying to go fast because I've been at this all afternoon trying to work between what kids need and everything and I'm trying to just be done. So I apologize if my brain is not functioning at full capacity. But I do like that pink. It's kind of more of a cool tone pink, which I don't normally do. So I want to keep that. And then this one is the Colt Velvet Teddy. Colt Classic. And it's kind of just a beautiful brown nude. And I'm keeping that. Oh, there is one more. Bite Beauty. This one is in Thistle, which again, a little bit more gray than the other one. Keeping that. Oh, one minute. I have a helper here. He wants to say hello. 
Go ahead. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello, come in. Oh, and I've got my kids at the park, so we're communicating via... Mother bird, are you yeah. there? Mother bird is here. How you doing? So we'll get to these last two. This is Bridget, and this is from NARS. I don't know. I guess the one that everyone likes is Anna, and I couldn't remember when I ordered it, so I got Bridget, and I like it okay. It's not my favorite formula, but it's one of the satisfying closures, and I do want to keep it because it's one of my few NARS lipsticks. And then this is one that a friend gave me. It's one of the Christian Dior colors, and it's in Noir Flash. It's a beautiful deep color and I do really like that. I don't wear it very often but it is lovely and I am grateful to have it. So I'm going to keep that. All right, last but not least, again we have a lip palette. Ooh, sorry, this is the Vice lip palette. The only thing about this is the red I think is going bad. Those bumps were not there before but the rest of it, like I said, I don't really do lip palettes. I haven't used most of these. I just need to figure out how to do it. I do like the Ultimate Ozone. This is just to line lips and create a barrier so that things don't wander outside. I will keep that. I do love this color. What is it? Liar. It's a nice thick gloss and it stays. It's called Liar. Yep. Cool. This one is called Anarchy and I don't wear it so I'm going to be done with that. I, I love sheer streak color. So I'm going to keep that. I don't know that I'm going to get rid of any of these. This one is Back Talk, which I didn't realize that I have with that palette coming out. I was wanting to get it, but now I have it. And it's like all of my other mauve purples. So I'm a fan. I do like 1993. Snitch is a bit coral. I like Ex-Girlfriend. That one's really good. But it's one of the few that I'm... Actually, no, I do really like this one because it's sheer and it's the light one like that. And I like the formula. So I'm excited to have that and keep it. This one is Rapture. Just a little sample one. It's a little bit more purple. Like that. Rock Steady. This is one of those that I had forgotten about. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Kind of a red mauve. Red purple, yeah. 714, I am gonna keep that. I do really like Backstab. It's got a bit of a sheen to it, and I just, every time I wear it, I'm surprised I really like it. I had it in my exercise bag for a while, and it was great. I also like Fireball. It has that glint. So really, really pretty. I am going to keep Pallor and also UVB. I like those colors a lot. And these, I actually, I know they're for the lips, but they, I use them on my eyes and they stay perfectly. Regulate and fever. So I am going to keep those too. So these are the 51 products that I'm keeping from that set. And I'm really happy with all of them. These are the 35 products that I'm letting go. I'm moving on long, passing on to someone else. I think my kids are going to have a headache. They really want to go through them and do experiments and things with them too. If it's new, I want to find a place to donate, and if it's used, then they can have at it. If you like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe. If you want my videos to pop up automatically in your feed, and I hope you have an excellent day. I will see you next time.